Scrapwood challenge, scrapwood challenge. It's crack, it's crack, it's firewood, but some of the wood is good. In this video, I'm going to make this board game. It's called Nefertar. It's called Nefertarful. 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 Never table, never table. I know it's not correct, but I'm going to call it nefertarful. Nefertarful. I think that's right. Nefertarful. Nefertarful is a chess-like game that was played by the Vikings. It followed them in their voyages and became popular wherever they conquered. At a glance, it looks like an imitation of chess, but it actually predates it by 600 years. Chess eventually became more popular and Nefertarful was pretty much forgotten. Anyway, I thought it looked really interesting and I thought it'd make a great scrapwood challenge. Up to now on the scrapwood challenge, I've only used camphor laurel, but on this project I need a contrasting wood, so I've picked out this piece of reclaimed silky oak and I think that fits in with the theme still. It's making use of a piece of wood that could have otherwise been discarded. Well, it isn't silky oak, it's actually red cedar. Everything I'd used so far in that batch of wood has been silky oak and I just took it for granted that's what it'd be. But anyway, I think this may even be a better contrast, so I'm gonna go ahead with it. I'm using this jig to thickness the contrasting strips. It's very simple, the plane runs inside the jig and then when the sole of the plane touches the two guides on the outside then the workpiece is at the right thickness and it's very accurate, they come out very consistent. I ripped the square stock at 30 by 30 millimeters and I shouldn't have done that. I should have made it a bit wider in this direction and now it's glued up. I could have put that through the thicknesser and taken down to 30 that way and the whole thing would have been flat. It is actually very flat anyway because I did a pretty good job of gluing it up. So I think it will work out fine, but that's what I should have done.
Next, I need to glue it together, and I need an 11 by 11 grid. It's 11 across this way, but it, there are actually 12 across this way, but I, I won't chop that off until I've glued it all together. And also, I need to chop some of the blocks out to fit these ones, so that I need one in each corner, so that will be the corner there, like so, and then one in the center.
I've cut a groove in all the body pieces. Now I need to make a tenon on the head so it fits onto the body. The king is the same as the other pieces, just a bit bigger, but I did decide to kit it out with some accessories. It's quite a straightforward game to get up and running. I'll just give you the basics, but if you want the full rules, I'll put a link in the description below. It looks quite an unbalanced game because one side has a lot more pieces than the other side. On the outside, we have the attackers, and on the inside, we have the king with his defenders. So the idea of the game is the king is trying to get to safety, which are these four squares here, which are called castles, and the attackers are trying to capture him before he does that. The attacking team always goes first and you can move any piece however many squares you want to go but you can only go forwards or sideways you can't go diagonally and you can't hop over another piece either so if i move this one up to there now it's the uh, defending sides go and i'll just move this up here and i've done that on purpose because now i'll show you how you take a piece and if you sandwich an opposing piece then you can remove that from the board and that works exactly the same for any piece, so that's how a defender would remove an attacker off the board too. I'll just bring the king out and I'll show you how the attackers make a capture. I'll just move some of these ones out of the way so it makes it a bit clearer. And the idea is, is it has to be flanked from all four sides. And then the attackers have won the game. That was very basic, but there really isn't much more to it than that. And it gives you an idea what the game's about. I think that's the longest video I've done yet. Hopefully it wasn't too long and you still enjoyed it. If you did, please like and subscribe. Thanks for watching and I'll see you on the next one.